house of green though. Two miles of green. Good morning and welcome back to the Ampsy Angler. Out on the boat and I am with Dino who is back with us today. Dino has been training for a new job so he has been burning the candle at both ends uh, in his new job and training and learning and just working all the hours under the sun. Um, but he's got a free day today so we're going to pop out. Uh, on the way out to some wrecks we've just seen a big shoal of birds working. I think it's just white bait looking at it, um, maybe small joeys. Um, but I'm just throwing a little surface, surface lure out now. Um, it's a little, uh, little Candy King sort of uh, top water there. Just see if we can get anything. And I think Dino's going to stick some sabikis on. And if we can get some Joey mackerel. Because the radio's on. Uh, if we can get some Joey mackerel, then we'll probably do some live baiting later as well. So that's the plan. Inshore Rex blows up a bit later on. Uh, and then we'll make our way back in. Maybe, maybe some bream over slack water as well. So stay tuned. Okay, so we've come out, we stopped off for some birds on the way out and then we hit a little wreck. There was a commercial bass boat on it and I had plans to go on there anyway. So I said, look, we'll do two drifts because it's that time of year where there's bass on a lot of the wrecks. So every wreck you go to tends to have someone on it or certainly a commercial. So you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Um, we've come to a wreck now. We are alone on this one. Um, so we're going to give it a go. And we'll see what we can do. That way now if someone joins us, it's not our fault they're coming to us. Uh, I do tend to leave the commercials alone, but sometimes you just can't help it. We're going to hit the northern end of this one. And the plan is to work the northern end, then work it all the way through the middle, the south, and then we'll start again and hopefully we find where they're laying. You don't, you don't want to go straight into a wreck, not through the centre often. You'll start at one end and work your way through. And obviously work out your drift line. Right, do you know the wreck's there? Fish on. It's a fish on. Yep. Yeah. yeah, fish on, guys. Wreck's still there as well. We have gone down it quite nice. Dino is in it, I think. All right, I don't know what we've got, Dino. Um, I will take a neck, it's still a bit feisty. It is a nice little pollock. It's well hooked. But we're net here because it's the first one of the day. And there we go, boom's all tangled up, but got ourselves a little feisty pollock. And Dino, there we go. First fish of the day, engulf that. Just slow winding, right in there. That's well, look, that is. He is well in there. there we go. So off the mark, finally, little pollock, a couple of pound. He did try putting him back, but he weren't going, but Dino's a big fish eater. Um, it's a perfect little table sized pollock, so he won't go to waste. Uh, but hopefully you can find his daddy. What a perfect day though. This is, it's, it's absolutely like glass today, but it does blow up in about, about three, four hours. It won't be like this. It'll be probably a little bit rough, I'd imagine. But by that point, we've had a few fish and we'll be on our way back home anyway. So fingers crossed. It's nice when it's calm like this though, because you can just, you can move rex, 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 rex. And it's not slammy and you don't feel like you're getting thrown about. Yeah, sorry, that was a bit of a long way up that one. I'll definitely shorten that one up next time. Any second now that wreck is going to show. In fact, there it comes now. So I'm just dropping down to the bottom. And the idea is that you bring your wreck up, your, your lure up over the front of the wreck. And it's at the perfect height as it starts coming in. That's the plan. Fish. Fish on. Fish on. That's a better one. That's a better one. Fish on, guys. Well, off a little bit. Drag was a bit loose. Thought we were something sensible, but I think it's another small pollock. I think this is on the glitter candy king. Oh, it's going again. Might be slightly better. There's my boom. It is another pollock. About the same size. And we go. And again, no, no, about the same size as the last one, cut a pound. Feisty. But again, that was on the sidewinder glitter king, that one. He just spat up a uh, fish down there as well, but looks a bit. There we go. Nice. 
All right, so unless we get something spectacular on this drift, this will be the last one. There is a couple of fish on it, I think, but we had a couple of small pollock, and I'm not fishing on small pollock all day. I'm gonna try and find some nicer fish or some bass today for Dino. So I say, unless we get something nice, this will be the last one. And I've come to the southern edge of it now. So we've worked the northern edge, a couple of goes in the middle, the snaggiest bit, and now I'm on the southern edge now. But it's a fine line because a wreck can suddenly just come on. Yeah. Yeah, it can do. We had, yeah, it can just come on a wreck, you know, and it's hard. You, you stay and go round and round and snatch one or two fish, hoping it's going to turn on. I'm not like that. I'd rather go bang, 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 and then find some that's loaded, and then I have to be quick because this battery says it's dying. But lovely bass there, sidewinder, candy king glitter. There we go. We're going to go back round again on that. I've got it on the other camera, but beauty. That's what we wanted. Happy days. No, he hasn't done nothing wrong, but I think now, I think they expect bass anglers, after all the rigmarole they went through, after all the stuff they went through with the bass stocks and fighting commercials and the rest of it. I think they should do a size between, like, above, like, say, six and seven metres, right? Max kill size. Yeah. For pleasure anglers, definitely, I think. Commercials have got to earn the living out of it, and it, that would kill their living. But for recreational, well, there definitely needs to be a slot size. Yeah, fish up, fish up. Oh, no, it's off. Yeah, no, it's there, whatever it is, it's there. Might be a pout, this one. Oh, I don't know. I think we've got a pout on, guys, I think. Or something very small. Bring yours in, Dino. Off the, off the wreck now. This is a pout, this one. I think this is a pout off the side of it. I'm soon going to find out. Oh no, it's a little pollock again. Baby, baby pollock. There we go. But number three, three pollock and a bass again, well hooked there in that. Well hooked. Course. I've got the hook out all over my trainers. Well, this one should go back, he's lively enough. Let's have a look. When you're putting Pollock back, he'd nose down, torpedo him. Back he goes. Powering down. We're only in 100 foot of water, 110 foot, so they shouldn't blow. Right, round again then. So, a few bass and Pollock now, or a bass and a Pollock, should I say, on this wreck. I've got a feeling there's some on it. It just. Seeing a few readings on the sounder, Dean's getting some plucks, I'm getting some plucks, and we're getting fish. So we'll work this and we'll try and pick a few more off. Yeah, like I said, I do, I do take a bit of a, a roving approach to wrecking. I, I will work a wreck a couple of times. If I'm not on fish within three, four drifts, I'll move, or I haven't had something that gives me a sign of life. But we found that now, fine. That bass is a nice sized bass, that one. And Rex in. Fish on for Dino. Yeah, feel like something? No, it's not big, is it? Help maybe, or is it, is it giving you any lunges? Dino's got something on. Yeah, a little pollock for Dino. Oh, it's a spat. They're feeding on something. Look, that's a little my, my one spat something out as well. All right, we're done. Happy days. Dino has broken the blank. A little pollock for Dino. This is his first one in ages because he's been working like a trooper. Little pollock. And it actually spat up some sort of a... Uh, I've tried it now. <laughs> oh, sprats, yeah. It's spitting up sprat. So there we go. Right, let's watch him put it back. Uh, I'll go this side, yeah. Go on. So yeah, torpedo down. He's gone. And gone straight away. That's how you do it. Okay, so a little pollock for Dino. So what we've noticed is they're spitting up sprats. About four inches long. Um, so, I mean, I've got a six inch lure on at the minute and they're taking it, but it's a white glitter king. They weren't taking the darks earlier. And Dino's now got, what have you got on now? A Candy King as well. Yeah, so that, Dino's got a Candy King on as well and they're take, he's had that Pollock. So we're matching the hatch as it were, but we're pulling fish out on these, so we'll stick with them. 
Rex in. What was a fish? Yep, 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 fish on. Fish on. There we go. Just on the wreck and we got a fish. It's nice steady winding. Again, this isn't no monster. I think it's another small pollock. A bass will fight you all the way up. You'll get head shakes all the way up with a the bass. There's the leader. And it is indeed another pollock and it has smashed that lure again. Smashed it. And again, oh, that's perfect. Talking about the sprats, it's just spat up another sprat. I'll show you that in a minute. Slightly bigger than the last couple, but again, let's show you this. It has absolutely nailed that candy king. The glitter candy king swallowed it. Sometimes you get them in the lips, but they're engulfing this, which means they're hard on the feed. So that's what we want. There we go. There it was, that's all it was. Six foot trace, boom shad, done. The smaller ones have black spots on them. I don't know if you can make those out on there. They are the juveniles, but let's see if he goes back. Like a missile, straight down there. Right, there we go. That was Pollock number four. For me anyway, five in total. My friend John has just turned up. I was liaising with him this morning. I said, I'm out before you. I'll let you know how we get on. Out for Dino. Morning, Joe. Hello, how are you? Hello. Good thing, Kentucky, there we it? go. So John's over there. We've John's come out of his friends and his other half, Joe. And first drift, he's on a lovely fish. We're going to hang about and see what he's got. Yeah, but is he fighting all the way up? Got one about five pound on. Yeah, he's um. Sorry, mate. I know. Yeah. Uh, what do we do? Is it a Pollock? Cod. So John has got well, one of John's friends has got a lovely cod. Well done, guys. Well done. Oh, good four, easy four. Easy four pound, that one. So yeah, um, perks of having close friends, good group of friends who you can share information with. Um, and we're all the same, we do it for each other. But I was out today before John, and I said, look, we found a few fish on this wreck. And he's come out here straight away with his friends, got some friends on today who haven't fished before, I don't think, or they're, they're new fishermen. And we sat there and just watched them pull up a cod about four or five pound. <laughs> Lovely cod. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a cod, not a codling, it's a cod. Um, I'll try and get a photo of it. And if I get it, I'll put it in here. Um, but yeah, it was a lovely fish. But um, yeah, instead of bombing around doing the wrecks that we've done that had nothing on, he's now come straight out and he's straight on the fish. And Dino had a little pollock as well. So, you know, we, we found a wreck now that's holding some fish. So that's the best thing about having some friends is you just share the information. I don't, don't tell my marks to people other than my close friends. So Dino was having a bit of a cold streak um, in terms of I was pulling fish up and uh, he couldn't do it. But Dino fishes with a red amnesia leader and I fish with a fluorocarbon. And the only, that was the only difference in what we were doing was his leader. So he's changed the fluoro, straight off the bat, bang, he's having fish now. So it must be something to do with the water clarity um, because it must, have, it, it must have been putting them off and there could be a little change like that that can make a difference. I think we've had six pollock now. Six or seven pollock and a nice bass. And Rex in now, Rex in. Okay, just come to another wreck now. It's slack water pretty much, so I'm working a slow jig just to see if I can find anything. And Dino has got a bream rig down. You know, autumn time now, bream on the wrecks. And they do get very big as well. So this one's got some ground around it. So if we drift off the wreck, you can drop the baits down to the bottom and still catch your bream. So. That's the plan now, we've got no tide, so you can't boom and shad it really. But slow jigs work and bream rigs will work. If Dino gets some nice bream, then I'll put mine on as well. 
Yeah, they will, they will strip you bare. Oh yeah, fish on. Oh, hello, there we go, fish on. Fish on, oh yeah. Fish on the slow jig. Fish on the slow jig. I'm hoping this isn't about. Didn't go like one. There's my leader. Oh, that's a fat look, baby pollock. <laughs> Ah, there we go. I thought we felt a bit too so right for the gills there. He's okay though. There you go. Straight back down. There he goes. That's bream. That's bream. That's bream. That's bream. That is a bream bite for Dino. Oh, so that, that, whatever that, the first one was a bream. Rattly, rattly, rattly. Bang, bang, bang. Like that. Dino's in. We're breaming now, obviously. That's what we're hoping for. Oh, hello. That's a bream. That's a big bream. Oh, that's a lovely bream. Yeah. It's a lovely bream for Dino. It's a lovely yes. bream. Come on, get it in there. That's a lovely bream. Go on, Dino. Yeah. That is a very nice bream. That's Chris Money Rod. There you go. I told you. Six turns. Six turns. We've got a lovely bream for Dino. I said slap water now, great time to get these autumn bream. Lovely dark colours on there. This is a male, but in the spring they have a lovely blue band over their head. But this is a lovely male, good pound fish that one. And that is going to be dinner for Dino. Well done, mate, happy days. Want it? Ah, uh, we're bream fishing. Want it, bud? Yeah, that's what I'm getting now, eh? Yep. That's bream. That's bream. That's a bream. That's a bream. That's a good bream. Good bream. Taking line, that. Good bream. This is it's taking line, this one. Good bream. Yeah, that, nah, about five turns off. Got a nice bream, guys. Nice bream. This will be a net job, Dino. Oh, could be a lovely bream, this one. Really went. Oh, it's still going now. Huh? Here it comes, Dean. Oh my god, that's massive. Look at the size of that. Big bream. Look at the size of that. That is a big bream. Bream. Have a nice one. Have a nice bream for Dean at home, mate. Look at that. Lovely fish. Well done. This will be another bream, guys. Don't think it's as big as the last one. It is a bream. It's a small one, though. Another bream. Uh, Top at that time. Yeah, nice. Nice. We need a net for a bream, isn't it? I, I no, nah, I don't blame you. Oh, fish, I want. I want. I want it. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. There we go. That's on the bottom, buddy. It's another nice one. Up. It's going to be another nice bream, this one. This is just a two, two at Paternoster. Size four, cox and wool crab hook and a bit of squid. Oh, that's another nice one. That looks a little bit, though. Ooh. Got him through the eye. That's why it felt bigger. It's coming up through the eye. Put him back. Look at that. Absolutely lovely black bream. Size four, cocks and wool crab hook in there. Deal with them teeth. They have got really big teeth. I'll strike my bream because if you don't, then they snatch your baits and they're gone. Absolutely brilliant, lovely looking fish. That'll be a good dinner bream, that one. Yep, fish up. That's a bream. Nice bream as well. There'll be another bream, guys. Come see colour. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, 
have a lovely fish. Yeah, nice one. Lovely fish, guys. Right on the bottom, mate, that was. Struck it. See, I think I said it in the last clip, but yeah, bream, they're so fast and they've got teeth. They've got gnashes, that actually got gnashes. If you don't strike them and you think, oh, I'll let the bait develop, you've lost your bait. Bang them, get them in, done. Really sharp hooks. Because they are ferocious. It's called a Water Wolf 2.0. It's about 107 quid or something, yeah. Oh, I've got a fish on anyway. <laughs> got a bream on. Got a bream on. Nah, no, bream on. That's a bream on there, ain't <laughs> So you get the talking. Have a little baby though. Lovely few bream today so far already. Chatting with a commercial, uh, couple of commercial friends of mine, Don and Alex, father and son. Um, having a bit of a slow day today. We're on the same rep, but we're breaming, they were bassing, but nothing doing for them anyway, so they've moved off. Yeah, so this time of year is my favourite time to catch bream. I know everyone goes mad in the spring and they're, when they're nesting, but this time of year for me, they're, they're on every single wreck now. And slack water gives you a really good option to fish for. Just two at Paternosters, little three ounce lead on the bottom. Got another bream on, guys, another bream. I think it was a bream, I'm saying that, I'm not sure. A second, I thought we might have another pout on, but it's a bream. Let's my leader. Oh no, I'm not, I'm talking sh Pollock. It's a pollock. <laughs> That's why it felt funny. It's another little baby pollock. I think that's got to be pollock number 10 now for the day, I think. Well, you had a breamy, breamy then. A lovely drift down this wreck now, though. Oh, hello. Bite straight away there. Twin pouts. Twin pouts. Yeah, I've got pouts on now, I think. Yeah. Well, well, I don't know. Over it, it's lovely. Oh, I've got a double, I've got one of each. There you go, that's what happened last time. Pout on the bottom hook, bream on the top one. You got something nice there, you? you got a bass on there, that's it. Right, so Dino is on the bream gear and uh, he's looked something nice, stripped a couple of bits of line off him. It's either the world's biggest pout or he's got a bass or more likely it could be a big bream, Dean. Yeah. Could be a big bream. Definitely can't be a pout. Go on. That's not moving, is it? No. What have you got there? You got a massive bream and two pout. It's a big bream though, Dean. Very big bream. Very big bream. <laughs> that is a big oh. bream, buddy. Yeah, buddy! Oh, and two yeah. pout. Well done, yeah. mate. Right, we'll show you that in a minute. That's a big bream, bigger than my one. Wow. Here we go. Dino has got an absolute donkey of a black bream. I mean, I got big hands, guys. I got big hands, and that is a that's a good couple of pound. That that is a lovely bream. Well done, Dino. Two pout with it. Stripping line. Right, pout's out. Got to fight through the pout now. Normally you sit quite high, but on this wreck today they're not. I'm the first person to say you fish high. We've tried that. They're not there, they're down in amongst the pout today. So we just got to fight for them. But when you're getting a couple of pound fish like Dino's one, that is uh, worth doing. But the wreck we're on guys, it ain't snaggy. And like I said, they are in amongst the pout on the wreck. They're not above it. So we're dropping right into it and we're just bouncing our leads across. Yes, we're going to get pout, but the bream are in amongst them and they're good bream as well. So that's what we're doing. There's a bite, there's a bite. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's a bream though. My one's a bream. Yeah, this is a bream. I think, I think we're on a, uh, yeah, I think we've got a bream on. Oh, 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 oh Dino. Oh, Dino. <laughs> Look at the size of this one. Look at that, that's another cracker. That is another big bream. Wow, look at that fish. 
That is so chunky. Wow, yes. Well done. Straight away, and that is a that is a thick, thick fish. And that is a fresh fish as well. Look at that. Wow. Core. Oh. Guys, that is that is a lovely, lovely fish. Get the excitement in my voice because that is absolutely beautiful. Get in. Yep. Yeah. Bream. Got a bream on. Yeah, it's another bream, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh, not a bad one, right? There we go, it's another bream. Gosh. <laughs> I'm not looking. I'll drop that down while I'm sorting that out. Keep your attention, don't let it drop. Yeah, you got a nice one there, you Dino. Oh, it's another good one. Another good bream, Dean. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. That's the end of another amputee angler session. Um, ten, ten odd pollock, a uh, bass, loads of good bream in the end. And uh, yeah, Dino had an absolute stonker of a bream there. Good couple of pound that one, easy. Lovely nice bass. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you all again soon.